It's your mom. We got the check you sent last week. Thank you. I was kind of hoping there'd be a letter from you or at least a return address so we could send you something. Um, I guess you're not ready for that. Um, either way, we appreciate you paying us back for what you spent in Calgary. Uh, you must be doing okay to be able to do that. I guess that's good. Um, anyway, we're here if you ever want to talk. Okay? Okay, bye now. Love you. Welcome to another edition of Women Who Fight, where we cover everything from the world of women's professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. As always, I'm your host, Robin Ray, along with my good friend and MMA junkie, Kit Lasko. Do you have to say junkie? It sounds like I need to attend a meeting. Oh, come on, it's just a figure of speech. Okay, so figure out something else to say. Okay, fine. Well, I was going to discuss the huge announcement of the new SmackDown Live Women's Championship by GM Daniel Bryan, but since it <laughs> seems like you're all fired up today, let's start with some MMA talk. What do you got? How about MMA aficionado? Or pundit? That sounds fancy. Ugh, you know, I'd prefer not to spend any more time on your show intro. <laughs> okay, whatever. What I'd like to pundit on is MMA phenom, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, mm. who just dominated her most recent fight to advance her record to 5-0. and Ooh, American hero, huh? Well, I guess she thinks pretty highly of herself. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she's certainly confident, uh. yeah. But the thing is, she can back it up. Okay. You remember, I mentioned her last year when she first debuted, and I'm calling it again now. She is going to be a megastar in MMA. Well... Speaking of mega stars, let's talk about uh -huh. my prediction on who will win the six pack challenge to be crowned the first ever SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Uh -huh. I'm going with Becky Lynch. Becky I, I feel Lynch. like she's ready to become the cornerstone of SmackDown Live and maybe even WWE. Look, I appreciate your enthusiasm and also all the progress that the women have made, but cornerstone of WWE? I hope I'm wrong, but I just don't see that happening. Well, I have a good feeling about this. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not a pundit. No, you're not. Hmm. Well, pretty soon we're gonna have an empty arena match. Huh. <laughs> an empty stadium, which is only about 30 fans shy of a typical Memphis Sliders game. King Lawler has had some of the most famous empty arena matches in history. This probably won't be one of them. One. You know, I just realized something. If the stadium is empty, who am I even talking to? That's weird, man. Well, 
Miller won't be able to rely on the home crowd advantage this time around. But if you ask me, I don't think he'll need it. that you can hear the scurrying about of the concession stand rats. Now just a reminder, the Sliders are on the road. We'll be back for a six-game homestand next week. So come on out and support the home team. Or the away team. Just get your butt here and spend some money, okay? I have two 27-year-old man children to feed, and this franchise is dying quicker than the house fly. This is one heck of a bonus match we're getting here tonight, folks. It just proves you never know what you're going to see at Memphis Slider Stadium. Like that one crazy stunt where they had monkey umpires for a game? I still maintain they did a better job than the real ones. You know, it's not often we get a Hall of Famer competing here at the stadium. Although there was that one time minor league Hall of Famer Turk Spitball Sampson pitched at the age of 93. He had to be removed from the field by security on account of he escaped from his nursing home. But still, what a memorable night. Tonight's wrestling event is brought to you by our sponsor, Bobby Joe's Dog Board. If we lose your dog, the next one's on us. Wrestling has a long history of holding major events in baseball stadiums, including several WrestleManias and, of course, tonight's show. This match has the potential to go extra innings, but hopefully not, because I'm not sure how long the sliders can afford to keep the lights on. I'm seeing a lot of swings and misses out there. Kind of reminds me of a Slaughter's game. Next Sunday's Sliders game is our annual Bring Your Pet Fish to the Stadium Day, where the first 50 fans who arrive with their pet fish will receive two free tickets and one month's supply of fish food. Please note, once all promotional tickets are gone, fish will be charged full price admission.
It's the battle of the pile driver versus whatever Trey's finisher is. Honestly, I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as the pile driver. Red and I ended up having a good run in Memphis, but eventually we wanted to check out some of the other indie hotspots around the country. And after a year or so of bouncing around, we made a name for ourselves in LA, where the indie scene was really taking off. That's it. I'm leaving without you. You can't do that. We're a package deal, remember? Besides, look who's headed our way. Mm, great. I was wondering if she'd show up. Relax. I'm not here to start anything, so don't get your collective skivvies in a bunch. This is the one day to put any past differences aside and honor your achievements, so congratulations. You've earned everything that's coming to you tonight. What was that? Maybe she has a conscience after all. I seriously doubt that. Forget her. Let's get back to your story. I think L.A. was where I first saw you two wrestle in person. Remember? We ended up having that series of matches against each other. How could I forget? It led to one of the most embarrassing nights of my career. We would battled each other in just about every type of match, except for one that also happened to be on the list. Wrestle in a crybaby match. And since you had the first and only crybaby match with Razor Ramon back in the day, this was the perfect time to cross it off. Tickets go on sale for next month's event this Wednesday. This show sold out in five minutes, so good luck getting one. wearing wrestling masks must remove their masks first. We need to see your face to check your ID, people. We ask you to please clean up after yourself. If you don't, we'll have to hire a cleaning crew and raise ticket prices. 
And nobody wants that. The merchandise stand will be open until 30 minutes after the show, so enjoy the event and come check out all the latest stuff on your way out. Or don't. Less work for me. Sorry I put your friend in a diaper, but there was no way I was going to let that happen to me again. Maybe it'll teach him to stop putting ridiculous things on our list, but probably not. Hey, this isn't public knowledge yet, so keep it on the DL. The WWE is going to be holding an all-women's tournament later this year. That's amazing. Yeah, they're calling it the Mae Young Classic. Triple H asked me to keep an eye out for talent, so I'll be watching your match tonight against Candice LeRae. Don't hold back. I never do. Ooh. Oh, this stuff's all in my eyes. I can't see. I think I'm going blind. <laughs> I don't know why he's so cranky. I fed him and changed his diaper. <laughs> Any chance he can babysit during my match? Ah, <laughs> my <God. laughs> We're really glad that you're our friend. And this is a friendship that'll never, ever end.
situation, it still sucks. Both sides of the 405 remain closed. If you don't live nearby in the valley, you might as well sleep in your car, if it hasn't been broken into. to do birthday announcements, and the answer is no. This isn't a baseball game, people. his wedding ring. If you find it, please turn it in or just pawn it. I don't care. two are great, so I wish I could recommend you both for the Mae Young Classic, but Hunter said they're only looking to fill one spot right now. You're really milking this decision. <laughs> Get it? Because the crybaby match earlier? I've been hanging out with Trey too much. Please, continue. I'm gonna have to recommend Candace. She's been doing this for over 15 years. Red, you've got a ton of potential, but you don't have anywhere near that kind of experience. Yeah, totally. I get it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. Like he said, I've been doing this a really long time and you're one of the best I've ever seen. And you're only gonna get better. I appreciate that. Uh, I gotta go call my husband and tell him the good news. No guarantees, but 
but I'll definitely keep you in mind if WWE ends up doing this tournament again. Give me your contact info before you leave tonight, okay? I will. Thanks. Hey, I overheard what Xbox said. This is just a bump in the road, and tonight wasn't a total loss. At least I get to cross off wrestle in a crybaby match. Give me that. Ugh, it smells like butt sweat. I told you not to keep the list in your tights. Cost of doing business. Win May Young Classic Tournament. See if you can air that out. As our indie journey continued over the next couple of years, we got to have matches in a lot of cool places. But the one that stood out most was when we got to do a special show back in our hometown. You've got to be kidding me. And we thought her head couldn't get any bigger. You know what? I'm not going to let a stupid sign ruin this for us. Let's go. This was our chance to show our friends and family just how far we had come. Well, at least our friends. 